uh, you know, on the on the Richter scale of of clown school rankings, you wouldn't want to say, okay, they're they're a graduate of number seventeen of, on 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 the bottom, the worst clown school in the country. It, it, no, no matter how funny their shoes, no matter how wet the water coming out of the squirt of their flower, no matter how much you love that seltzer down the pants, if they are graduates of the 17th worst clown school in the country, you're not going to sell your company to them. But the question yeah. becomes. And over that period of 17 years, there are 17 different situations or you, 17 years ago, that school may had ranked on the bottom. Uh, it ranked on the bottom or might have been a little bit higher up. That's where I'm headed with this is yes. perhaps that school was 17. Now it's 14. Is that yes. is that high enough? You're like, oh, is it, do they have to get out of the bottom 17 worst clown schools in the country and get into the, you know, the 16th worst yeah. You feel like okay, that I can live with sixteenth worst. Yes, and I, I, at that point, if you've reached that level of comfort, I would say it was probably not advised, but probably okay to exaggerate. Mm 